A UFO in China's skies. Scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious... Scientists left baffled by an unexplained circular... Right, that's a UFO if I've ever seen one. Yeah, can you that's identify undeniable. it? That's undeniable. Baffling those who saw it and exciting a lot of comment. In 1981, people in a small town located in a rural area of southern Nevada experienced a mystery which could not be solved for a very long time. A body of a small boy was found by a woman who was making her way into town. The body was bloody and dismembered and the head was missing. The woman noticed a blood trail which she followed where she found bodies upon bodies also dismembered. The mystery of the horror the small town went through was never solved. No cases could identify the culprit. Today, government cover-ups are now being discovered through information leaks around the media and recently the NSA revealed top secret government files. Today we'll be looking into a file titled Xeno-1. Xeno-1 describes the mystery behind the town's genocide that was never solved. In Xeno-1, according to the documents, governments ran countless experiments on quote, extraterrestrials. One of these experiments was a sequential cohort design where a young, adult, and old creature were studied for five years. They ran a true experiment where they tested radiation on them. There were three creatures within each group, one being the control of the experiment so they can compare within groups and between groups. One creature was given low amounts of radiation, while the other was given high amounts of radiation. The control subject was given none. They also recorded whether there was violence or no violence. Scientists then used a 2x2 ANOVA to find a significance between the groups. They used an ordinal scale, ranking the creatures from 1 to 10 on violence level, 10 being the highest. The internal, the internal validity was high at first since, but soon met a decrease when one of the young creatures was struck by testing effects. When it grew accustomed to the radiation levels and maturation occurred when one of the old creatures died during the experiment. A small quasi-experiment was made when the scientists wondered whether each the male or female creatures would be more violent. The other experiment had no manipulation of an independent variable. The creature were then given a survey which had a five question Likert scale. A regression would be used to analyze the results. Unfortunately, none of the tests succeeded and proved to be inconclusive, and a rank 10 violent creature with high exposure to large amounts of radiation escaped. The creature then made its way out of the military base and into a nearby town where a young boy who snuck out from his home in the middle of the night to play at a nearby playground. What were these tests about and what did the government hope to find? What were these creatures and what happened to the one that escaped? We will find out next time. They stay in my pants and be like, but what's on the bridges? Keep red bottoms on the bottom of my shoe, they like how we kick it. I better walk out with my crew 